Hey everyone, it's Sandy and I'm going to attempt a mixed media layout. I'm just showing you some eyes ink that I bought. I bought three colors. It was gold and uh, orchid and turquoise. Anyways, I've already got this sheet of paper and it's just a pink, a very light piece of pink paper and I put molding paste, not molding paste, I'm sorry, gesso some paper scraps and some of that uh, drywall tape down and I let it dry overnight and now I've just got some moldy paste and I was putting using a stencil to put like a flower pattern down and now I'm using the gold molding cream to add this uh, crackled kind of texture with this Prima stencil that I have. There we go, and I like the way it's coming out, and it dries really fast. Now I've got these eyes ink, they're pigment inks, and um, so I'm not sure how to use them, so I just kind of put them on there, and then I get my water, and I squirt it down, and I've just gotten this idea from watching other mixed media layouts. It's just something I've been interesting in, interested in trying to do, and I've watched a lot of videos and stuff, so just kind of seeing how people use different products and stuff so I like the way that's going around the flower stencil that I use because it's bringing it out and so I'm gonna go ahead and use that turquoise I'm gonna use some of the pink and then uh, go from there and I'm just letting it drip down to the bottom and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the pink next and I'm only putting it around where the flowers are where I use that flower stencil with the molding paste so then it, it could go around the flower some when I spray it with the white water. With the white, I'm sorry, with the water. And there we go, you can kind of see it go around the stencil. Okay, so now I've dried it. And now I'm spraying some white delusion spray on it because it was a little bit bright and I wanted to tone it down a little. And I don't know if it's, I love that white delusion spray, but it's kind of stinky. I don't know if it's just me, but it has a weird smell to it so I was trying to dry it up quickly and wipe up any spray other places and then I started to dab it a little bit so it would dry a little faster because it just has a weird smell to it anyways that's beside the point so I believe I'm going to show you the picture that I'm going to use there's some pictures right here that I took with my mom while she was visiting and one of them is of us smiling sticking our tongue out laughing just doing silly things so I'm going to use that and now I have this freckled fawn piece of um chipboard that it had some frames frames on it and those have been popped out and this is just the part you would throw away but I thought it would be kind of cool to use it uh, on the layout so I'm just kind of figuring out where I'm gonna put my pictures I cut off that bottom strip and now I'm gonna use some of this Inca gold to put some color on the frame and I'm just using the uh, the pink a I think it's called old silver and a turquoise color so that it matched the inks that I've already used as well. Okay now I'm going through this Kelly Perky uh, 6x6 pad and it's called uh, Mona Me and I'm gonna pull three sheets of paper and I just rip them out. I just need half sheets to kind of uh, border behind the pictures and I also got a piece of tissue paper which is Tim Holtz tissue paper so I can make that or use it as a background layer as well. Now I'm just going to tear around it and get these um, pictures framed up a little bit and then I'm going to put them down behind that chipboard square. Okay now I've got those pictures down where I want them so I'm going to start to put some wood veneers that I've pulled out that I know are that I want to use for this and I'm just using my hot glue gun for this and in that last square I'm gonna put uh, some hearts and a camera that I have used some Inca gold as well on it and just to fill that space up right there because I didn't want to do four you know one picture in each square so I thought I'd fill that one up with embellishments And then I realize I want to put that uh, heart down right there, but I need to peel this circle wood veneer up because I put it too close and there's not room for the heart to go there. So I'm just going to move it over and I'm going to get more Inca gold and use it to put some color on that heart frame right there. I love this Inca gold. I mean, I could use it. There's so many colors and I could just use it on so many different things. And I have other people have told me to use bottled water or distilled water like just spritz them 
in that Inca Gold and it'll kind of help keep it moist because one of my colors, or two of them, are really drying up. So I'm going to give that a try next time when I use them. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and put that last picture down, but I know I want something, so I'm seeing what I could back it behind, and I figure I go ahead and get that piece that I cut out with my silhouette, and I just hot glue those pieces down, it, and I'm going to put uh, the picture on top. And there we go. And now I'm just going to continue to hot glue stuff down. That's just a little circle that says us. That came from Little Yellow Bicycle, I believe. And I never glued that down, so I'm going to glue that little half a wreath down right there that I cut from my silhouette also. And that's a that smile is another cut from the silhouette. And then these clouds came from Freckled Fawn, and they're just vellum clouds, so I went ahead and added those. And now I'm just going through my enamel dots, seeing which colors that I can pull out and go ahead and use on this. And I use some gold, some pink, some tan, some wood green looking ones, some teal colors, and I just start placing them everywhere where I want to go. And now I'm just using the Inca Gold to put some splatters on it. And then I believe that was it. I did add some bling that you'll see in the last picture, but I should have some still frames coming up. Okay, and then here's just some more close-ups coming. And I love all the texture on this low. I definitely want to give it another try. So, and there's that um, drywall tape right there. And just everything came out really cool. I, it took me a long time to do this layout because I've just never done one before. And, but I really, really do like the outcome of it. So anyways, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, let me know. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.